I looked like, oh wow, we haven't played for 16 days. That's great. We're we're fresh. We're mentally recharged. Uh, we're ready to go. So to me, it's a the break is positive, not negative. Indeed, that layoff has proved positive as the Spartans notched their second win since the break on Sunday with an impressive 106-51 triumph for Central Penn in the opening game of the 2011 Coaches vs. Cancer Classic. The Spartans jumped out to a 19-6 lead just over six minutes into the game, a run capped off by this Dylan Hoffman layup. Central Penn did manage to cut that advantage to four at 19-15, but this Jeremy Scalotta layup with 9.45 to go in the half sparked a period-ending 28-7 run. Overall, York's quality work in the latter portion of the half, combined with this Todd Maschieski jumper, just before the halftime buzzer, allowed the green and white to take a commanding 47-22 lead into the break. The second frame proved all Spartans, as the York squad steadily built a huge advantage. The green and white quickly eclipsed the 30-point advantage on this Paul Clavars layup. And then the 40-point plateau, less than four minutes later, on a made jump shot by Julian Watson. York cruised from there, which allowed their bench to see significant minutes. Max Resnick and Barry Holmes each took full advantage of their time on the floor, as they each made three shots for the green and white during the closing minutes. Notably, this bucket from Holmes gave the Spartans 100 points for the first time since the 2008 2009 campaign. Well, I liked the way we played together. Uh, I thought the guys shared the ball. Uh, you know, deep into our lineup, no matter who was out on the floor. Uh, I thought the second half we did a good job of ignoring the scoreboard and just trying to play a good defensive possession and good offensive possession. Leading the charge, senior guard Kevin Whaley scored 23 points in just 17 minutes of work as he hit nine of his 10 attempts from the floor, including four for five from beyond the arc. Mitch Kemp posted a career high 14 points on four for seven shooting as all of his attempts from the floor came from three. I think these past two games, us coming off a break, we played very, very well as a team. Um, you know, our leaders, Dylan, Pollock, and uh, Kevin, really get us mentally prepared for each and every game. Very comforting when you got six, seven guys who can go off for double-digit points. Yeah. I mean, Mitch came out hot tonight, and it's, it just seems like, like a lot of fun when you, you see somebody going off like that, you know? It's fun to see Mitch smiling. It's fun to see all the guys hitting their shots and playing together. And it's, it's fun, for, it's gotta be fun for the fans, you know, because they're out there watching us share the ball like we do and uh, not turning it over, just playing the right way. And uh, it's just been so much fun playing with this team. The Spartans, who will donate the funds generated from this tournament to the American Cancer Society, continue to be excited to be a part of the Coaches vs. Cancer effort. I'm proud that the York College participates in the Coaches vs. Cancer, which is a national uh, organization uh, by the National Association of Basketball Coaches, and we've done it ever since 1994. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm proud that we do it, and, uh, and you know, I'm proud that the basketball coaches of the country have chosen cancer as the, uh, the cause that they want to use basketball as a way to fight that uh, awful disease.